Good morning, ladies. I am here to help you. I am here to show you how to properly apply your primer and your foundation, specifically our liquid to powder mineral foundation. I've had a couple questions about it, and so I wanted to show you the best method as well as how I apply it and the reasoning behind it. So to start with, I start with my Glorious Primer. I used to be somebody that didn't believe in primer. Why should I spend the additional $39? The reason we do primer is we're filling in all of those, I guess you could say, divots in the road and making sure that we have a nice, fresh palette to work off of. So you see that? I'm going to go ahead and fill that in, give myself a clean slate. And I'm using my foundation brush, this brush right here. The reason I'm using this is because I try to avoid as much as possible my skin-to-skin uh, -skin contact, my fingers touching my face. And the reasoning behind that is because there's a lot of oils in our fingers. And when we touch our face, then we're putting the oils from our fingers on our face. I'm a firm believer that it also changes the consistency of any foundations. Uh, so we want to make sure we always use our brushes. Next, I'm going to do the mineral uh, liquid to powder foundation. And I'm actually today going to demo with the powder uh, blusher brush. The reason I'm going to do that is because right now our powder puff brush is such a hot item. And with it being the holidays, we are running really low on stock of it. It is that great of a product. So I want to give you an alternative, which is our blusher brush and show you that it's just as easy to apply with this brush as it is the other one. The other one's just a little bit larger, so some people think that it takes a little less time, but uh, once you get it down, it takes no time at all. So take the brush, your dry brush, take your foundation, and this is what's really key that I wanna make sure that everybody's hearing. It only takes a few drops. I've had a couple of girls I've had to scale back because they've said it looks too cakey, they don't know what they're doing wrong. Three drops is all I use. So I get amazing coverage with three drops. Now, if for some reason you want a little bit more, then do four or five. But if you are putting a bunch of drops on there, you're putting way too much. So scale it back. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of drops on my brush. One, two, three. And we'll see here, it's on the brush. This is very important. We dab here, we dab here, we dab here, we dab here. You see that? I did not start blending from the top with a full brush. I've still got, got a little bit on there. But take note of how I've done that. I like to call it the diamond effect. Then we start blending. From the top down. And again, this is my blush brush. This is not even a foundation or powder brush. And look how well it's going on. Nice, even application. Oh, it's so nice to have some color again on my face. Okay, so there you have it. It's nicely applied, nice and even. Okay. The next thing I wanted to show you is how I do my bronzer. And this I do prefer the powder puff brush for if you have it. Again, you can absolutely use this brush. It's just a little bit smaller. You can just go around the edges here. I like the bigger brush, so I just do a little bit more here because I'm a fairly fair-skinned person without a tan. Okay? And I just go around the edges of the face and warm it up. Your next step is the blusher. The blusher only needs a tiny bit. This is your blusher brush that we just used for the foundation. We are going to turn around because it's dry because that liquid turns to a powder so we don't need to clean it or we don't need to dry it off. And we're just going to put a couple of dabs here. And start at your apple and move your way up. Just dab him. See the difference? Okay, I barely am putting any on, but I'm getting just enough color in my cheeks. 
make it nice and even. Now, if you went overboard with the blush and you sit back and you think, whoo, that is way too bright, take your brush and just blend it. See that? Okay. So that is the best effective way to apply your face makeup. Next, I'll do the eyes and we'll do the eyebrows and we'll do the lips. Thank you.